disgraced former New York power broker. Ex-Senate leader Dean Skelos and his son Adam are due in federal court following their corruption convictions. CBS News' Andrea Grimes has more live from the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Andrea. Well, Chris and Mary, both Dean Skelos and his son could potentially spend decades in prison. Federal prosecutors, though, are asking for at least 12 for Dean Skelos and about 10 to 12 for his son. All of that will be up to the judge to decide here at the federal courthouse when their sentencing gets underway this morning around 10 o'clock. He was once one of the most powerful politicians in New York, spending years in Albany. But today, former state Senate leader Dean Skelos will learn how much time he'll spend behind bars. A jury convicted him and his son Adam Skelos last December on bribery and extortion charges. We are obviously very disappointed with the verdict. Federal prosecutors called the scheme a straight up shakedown, claiming Skelos pressured various companies to pay his son in exchange for legislative favors. Quote, Dean Skelos had a great deal of power, and paying his son was the way to tap it. Son Adam was portrayed as an arrogant hothead, but the defense had argued firms did business with him just to win goodwill with his father, with no explicit quid pro quo. Quote, that's how the world works. Adam ego and temper are not evidence of wrongdoing. Dean Skello, seen here in this picture from Governor Cuomo's office, was one of the so-called three amigos who ruled over Albany, controlling all legislation. The man on the left, former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, was just sentenced last week to 12 years in prison on corruption charges. Now, U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara has subpoenaed the governor's office for any paperwork connected to Cuomo's massive upstate development project, Buffalo Bill looking into potential conflicts of interest. The investigation is focusing on Cuomo's longtime assistant and friend, Joseph Percoco, who maintains he acted appropriately. The governor's office says it hired an investigator to look into any wrongdoing. Now, Dean and Adam Skelos are appealing. Dean Skelos, despite this conviction, is still or will still be granted his pension. That's roughly $95,000 a year. That's because current pension forfeiture law affects only public officials who took office after the year 2011. Reporting live this morning outside the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.